Sean Sewell with Ingimit.com and these bibs are the carbide bibs from Outdoor Research. So it's five degrees, so that's why I got my parka on. Here they are. Size large for reference, I'm six foot one, 45 inch chest, 33 inch waist, 32 on the inseam, and they are fantastic fit. Uh, pictures below, a uh, lot more specs, but Right here is a collaboration with Coy Townsend and Arcade, providing the elastic straps, uh, nice big buckles, the same buckles that Arcade uses on their belts. And um, my very first interview ever was with Coy Townsend, and I still wear Arcade belts to this day. I love them, they're fantastic. So, features. You get this really nice kangaroo pocket. It zips right here, but it actually goes all the way across. So very cool, great place to put a couple sandwiches or your beanie or what have you. Do not put your beacon here. I'll show you where your beacon goes in one moment. On the side here, you get two hand pockets and they're uh, sizable hand pockets and it's great because they don't go down low. You don't get any more cargo pockets, which is okay because sometimes cargo pockets kind of hit at the knee and when you're touring and have heavier items in there, it can really get in the way. I have toured with these pants several times as well as casual use at winter camp and they're fantastic. They, um, I'll, I'll tell you about them more, the fit and function in a moment, but the beacon goes right here. There's a strap right here. It's actually the nicest strap I've ever seen for a beacon pocket. Nice little clip, so you don't have to fumble around with your mittens on, trying to get your beacon to attach that. And there is an elastic beacon pocket right here. And that's where my Mammut Berry Vox beacon goes. And you know, obviously beacons, uh, they come with a, a harness and you should wear it at the harness wherever you feel comfortable it is recommended to wear here. But I've gone through my levels one, two, and rescue through Aerie. And I tell you what, I've had good success with keeping it in the beacon pocket. I like the beacon pocket because it's quicker access to get down low. Personal preference, but go with what you feel is more comfortable for your safety. But um, I don't like having things in my chest. And also, if you got a jacket on, you gotta take that layer off to get to the beacon. Anyways, that's a whole nother topic for a different time. But uh, beacon pocket, only thing goes in that beacon pocket is the beacon, that's it. That's my personal take, and that's probably a professional to tell you to do too. This pocket though, heck man, more beef jerky, more sandwiches. Sandwich up, you know, plenty of pockets here. Got this pocket here, these two pockets here. Now, my favorite features are not the pockets. The pockets are, are fantastic. It says it's made from this Pertex uh, shield three layer waterproof breathable membrane is 40 denier. 40 denier is like this sweet spot of being lightweight and yet durable enough to withstand um, use. Use out here in the snow with your, your ski edges or splitboard edges. Like I mentioned, I, I use these extensively this season for splitboarding and it does go over my size 12 MTB splitboard boot and I'll have a picture of that below. It'll go over your ski boot. Uh, currently it's going over just my, my uh, winter boots and uh, it does a good job sealing out. It's got a gaiter, of course it's got a gaiter, reinforced um, around the cuffs there too. I have a picture of that below uh, for your reference. And then um, the Pertex shield, I've used that before in hiking garments but never in winter garments. And I've always been pleasantly surprised with how uh, stretchy the material is like I did in the, vi the video for the jacket. It stretches a lot, which is great. I love stretch. I also love quietness and breathability. Those are my three main things I look for. Waterproofness being the fourth thing. But here in Colorado, our snow is so flipping dry, I'm not really worried about waiting out. So breathability, stretch, and, um, and uh, well, breathability, stretch, and, and, and comfort. Yeah, comfort. That's what we're talking about. So these are very comfortable. They dump heat like crazy. Uh, I've used them down to the lowest temperature I've had them is one. It's currently five, although it feels colder because the humidity is higher. And um, anyways, they, they have been great in cold temperatures. They've been in warm temperatures too. I've used them on pretty warm days, like in the 40s, and they dump heat really well. There are two vents on the side. So there is your ventilation. And again, it doesn't run the whole length, so this is not like your mountaineering style bib. This is a functional free ride bib. And the price point is super fair, 300 bucks. The jacket, which I had in the separate review, uh, is 300 bucks. The bibs are 300 bucks. For all in, for the price of a, a, a name brand waterproof, uh, not the Pertex is not name brand, but like if you went like, another brand's waterproof uh, jacket or bib, you're probably looking at 600 bucks. So for half that price, you're still getting a three layer waterproof breathable membrane that stretches, that dumps heat, is super comfortable. Oh, and it's quiet, that's one. It's quiet materials. I love being quiet in nature. It allows me to be more present. I, I get to be my, my flow stater, everyone I call it. And having quiet gear 
really helps you with that. So uh, yeah, it's just great. I like, I like quiet. I like to go for a walk in the woods, go for a little tour and just that makes me happy. So quiet gear helps me get happy. It's kind of cheesy. But anyways, uh, long story longer, size large. There it is. Again, six foot one, 45 inch chest, 33 inch waist, 32 on the inseam, size large is fantastic. Of course, you can adjust the straps to suit your needs. Um, this is always funny mentioning this, but I haven't had nipple rub yet. I have mentioned other bibs where I've had nipple rub. I haven't had any rub rub. Very nice. You're out there for hours in the, at a time, touring up and you get any kind of chafing. You don't want that. <laughs> so I personally did not get that. So uh, happy nipples. I guess. All right, long story longer. The Carbide Kit from Outdoor Research has garnered a lot of accolades from other media publications uh, for good reason. It's really, really good stuff. Uh, I couldn't recommend it enough. For the price, it, I can't think of anything better for the price. For comfort, it's as comfortable as anything I've used. It's quiet, dumps heat, and it looks really good. As you, if you, I'll put a picture of the jacket with the bibs here. And looking at that, that's a good looking setup, you know? Um, it's not too baggy, not too alpine strict. The hand pockets are placed just right on both the jacket and the bibs. They look together, together really good. Um, and again, the price point is very fair. So 300 bucks and 300 bucks. Links below where to purchase. And again, Outdoor Research makes great products. Um, every area course I've taken has, the guys have been wearing, or at least half the guys have been wearing OR stuff for a reason, because it's, <laughs> it's very backcountry focused and very uh, functional and um, and price very fair. So, links for the below where purchase is seanswoolwithandgaming.com with the Carbide Bibs from Outdoor Research. Collaboration with Arcade. Thanks, Cody, for doing the collaboration. So, we'll have links below where to purchase, like I said, for like the half dozen time now, to Sean Sewell, owner of Trust Truck for Engamement.com. Till next time, take care.